Yeah, I accepted a long time ago. I wasn't the smartest, the best looking, the fast enough, with the best background, the most connections. I didn't have any of those things. What I could control was my work ethic. You've heard me speak many times about outworking everybody, but I think that just feels good when we hear it, but most people don't take it seriously. If you think that I have a little bit of success in my life, I can tell you what I attribute it to. Yes, self-confidence, yes, mindset, visualization, goals, all the things I talk about all the time, listening skills, influence, energy transfer, how to be happier, all of that stuff applies. When you get to winning, for me, it's come down to maxing out. And what maxing out means is you do one more at least than you think you're capable of. The people who make it, the people who are living their dreams, the people that are bringing about change, these people have a sense of who they are and they make a decision I can handle this. They make a decision that my, my circumstances are not going to determine me. Now the people that don't make it out, these people align themselves with the negative part of themselves. They identify and romance with failure and disappointment. They entertain it. They don't believe, they have faith, bad faith that they won't make it. These people identify with their weaknesses and their shortcomings. So they give up where we have unending hope that, that we begin to align ourselves with the highest that's within us. That we begin to know each day out of which we create our life, we create our circumstances. What you confess is what you possess. So maybe today you start by saying, I will not quit. I will not quit. I will not quit on you. Don't you quit on you today. The winners, they stay excited as long as it takes to get the job done. They keep after it until the job gets done. They never stop. They're always after it. And that's where their strength comes from. That's where their confidence comes from, is knowing their capacity to keep coming at you. And that all your competition is going to get weak. They're going to get tired. They're going to surrender. They're going to give in. They're going to think they made it. They're going to take a break. They're going to cool it. Figure out what the likely contingencies are and have some plans to execute if those contingencies occur. Maintain discipline. When it seems that the whole world is against you, and the same rules apply. Control what you can control you. Train hard, learn, maintain the unmitigated daily discipline in all things. Discipline is the root of all good qualities. It's about having the discipline to control your ego so your ego doesn't get out of hand and control you. It's about treating people the way you would want to be treated and, and doing the tasks that you don't necessarily want to do, but that you know will help you or help your team. Don't let people who are justifying their own weakness convince you that you working hard, you doing more isn't the pathway to your success. We become smarter through working harder. All the new revelations, all the breakthroughs, all the new discoveries always come when you're doing one more. You find new ways, new strategies, new words, new keys by higher repetitions. So even if you believe working smarter is more important, you will become smarter by doing more. You start knowing you can break through. When you break through an artificial barrier, like 45 minutes, you do one more. It sets a catalyst for your entire day. It sets a syntax. It sets a mindset for the rest of your life. I guarantee you those people did not have a plan to end up living their lives at the end of life with those types of jobs. And they didn't have a plan like you have and while you're investing in yourself not to. And it's hard. It's not fair when people are going up against that kind of stuff to tell them just think positive and be enthusiastic and everything will work out all right. Ain't that kind of party. It's hard. Life will put some knots on your head. You're going to fail your way to success. You have nothing to be ashamed of. Keep your head up. If you ever go through something, hold your head up. If you ever make a mistake, hold your head up. If you ever do something and everything goes wrong, life catch you on the blind side, 
Hold your head up. It's not over. Goethe said, that which does not kill you will make you stronger. Hold your head up. Shake someone's hand on your right and left and say, hold your head up. You're going to knock down whatever that rock is that's been between you and your dream. You're going to keep after it. You're going to be relentless. You're not going to give in. You're going to be the person who stays excited until the entire job gets done, until that dream is real. And you know long term, all these other people, they're going to flinch, they're going to get weak, and you won't. You use the force of you, the force of effort, the force of sustained effort over an extended period of time to wear out the obstacles in front of you and your dream. You're going to do this. You're going to win if you'll just adopt it. It ought to be written everywhere. One more, one more, max out everywhere you can put it. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel.